Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you are new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. This is going to be my meal prep for the week. I'm going to be sharing a breakfast, lunch, and dinner idea with you guys. And of course, I will leave the recipe and the instructions with the bites, points, and calories um, down in the description box below. Bites is for eye track bites and points if you are on WW, that's the reference. Usually, bites and points are the exact same thing because iTrack Bites is a copycat of WW. Um, I am on iTrack Bites. If you aren't familiar, that is what I use to just track my food and be aware of how many calories I am taking in. All of these recipes are healthy. Anyone can enjoy them no matter what plan or journey they are on with weight loss. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's just jump into this meal prep. I'm gonna grate some Parmesan cheese. I like to do like a big block of Parmesan cheese because it just tastes so much better. And we're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan into the eggs. All right, we have some crispy bacon. I'm gonna use this low carb flour tortilla. I really, really like these, they're so yummy. And then we're just gonna be using a little bit of turkey breast and of course some eggs. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our breakfast wraps and store them in the freezer. All right, there we have three breakfast burritos. I can just take these out, unwrap them. I can pop them in the air fryer or the microwave. And there you have an easy to go breakfast. I got this citrusy garlic seasoning from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the chicken, tomatoes, onion, and mushrooms. <laughs> so I'm just gonna season this really well. That's the key to sauteed veggies. They only taste good <laughs> if they're seasoned really well. Okay, so that's plenty. I'm gonna just spritz a little bit of avocado oil on the top so they kind of roast and get browned. And we're gonna go ahead and just let this bake in the oven until it's done. I'll leave the time on the screen and in the description box below. 
All right, guys, for the chicken teriyaki meatballs, you're gonna need 16 ounce of ground chicken. Add two tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna do one whole tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, because I absolutely love garlic. If you don't really like such a strong garlic flavor, maybe just do like half of a tablespoon or a teaspoon, just really depending on what you like. And then we're gonna add some coconut aminos. Two tablespoons of the coconut aminos. So there's two tablespoons of the coconut aminos. I'm adding a half of a teaspoon of sriracha. This is optional. If you don't like spice, then just eliminate this part. I have some sesame seeds I'm gonna add in here. I did one whole teaspoon of sesame seeds. I did one teaspoon of ground ginger. We have black pepper, about one teaspoon, and about one teaspoon of sea salt. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. I have a pan lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna go ahead and make the meatballs and place them on the parchment paper. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and let these bake and then once they're pretty much done baking, we are gonna take them out and we are gonna dress them with this soyaki sauce and then we're gonna place them back into the oven with the oven off and let them just cook a little bit longer and get nice and crispy with the sauce. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bake these first and then sauce them after. All right guys, here is the chicken teriyaki meatballs. I did do four in this one so Joey could have that one. Um, and then I did brown rice. And then all of the other containers have three meatballs. And then I will have a side of veggies with this but I like to make fresh veggies. So I'll just pop in some fresh veggies in a saute pan or even a microwavable veggie on the side. So that doesn't take long so I don't meal prep that part. And then here is the seasoned chicken with veggies. Again, same thing, I'll have it with like a side salad or veggies and I'll just make it the day of. And I did three containers and then I stored the remainder in a different container um, for my husband. But these will be for me because I'll have mine with a side salad. And yeah, there is the meal prep. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and got some food idea and some food inspiration. Check the description box for these recipes so you can make them at home yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.